What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the latest budget friendly device from Xiaomi called the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I'm gonna start this video by saying that this phone has the best screen that I've ever seen on a budget phone. This screen is in fact better than some flagships out there. So this is a 6.67 inches AMOLED screen that has a 1080p resolution and also a high refresh rate. This screen is better than the screen that um, you get on the iPhone 12, just to give you an example. The phone also supports that always on display feature that you typically see with the flagship. So if you want to see the clock at all times, some notifications of the screen is always on, you have that feature available. That's definitely a nice feature to have and something that I use daily. Now inside this phone we have the Snapdragon 732 and um, you can get this phone in different configurations. I personally have the version that has 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage but keep in mind that the phone can also take an SD card. So on the left hand side we have the slot for the SIM card and the device can use two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time. So there is um, the potential of expanding that um, internal storage. And for those of you that um, like benchmark scores, this device gets an Antutu score of just over 290,000. The phone also feels and looks much more expensive than some flagships out there. So the screen is covered by Gorilla Glass 5, so it shouldn't get scratched that easily. And we also have glass on the back, unlike a flagship like the Samsung Galaxy S21 that has the back made out of um, super cheap plastic. So this phone feels expensive as well. At the top here we have a 3.5mm audio jack, something that we don't usually see these days. We have the holes for the second speaker, so we have one speaker at the bottom and one at the top here. And then we also have an IR blaster, so the phone can be used as a remote control for your TV, just to give you an example. Since we are talking about the speakers, the speakers also sound extremely good. And this is a quick example, just so you can hear how the speakers sound. And going back to the phone, the frame here is made out of metal, so all around the phone we have metal. On the right hand side we have the volume buttons and the, the power button. The power button is also a fingerprint scanner, so to unlock the phone you basically touch that fingerprint scanner and the phone will unlock. It takes less than half a second for um, the phone to unlock, so very quick fingerprint scanner as well. At the bottom we have the holes for the second speaker, as I mentioned earlier we have the USB-C charging port and um, the hole for the microphone. The phone also supports fast charging and believe it or not, the phone actually comes with a fast charger in the box, unlike the S21 or um, the iPhone 12. And charging this phone from 0 to 100 is done in just over an hour, so once again faster than the S21 or um, the iPhone 12. Inside it we also have a 5020mAh battery and on one charge you can get more than 10 hours of screen on time and that includes some gaming, some video watching, browsing the web. So no matter what you do with this phone you will make it through an entire day on one charge which is quite impressive for any device. Alright, and we are moving on to cameras. Of course on the front of the device we have the selfie camera, but um, personally I'm not a big fan of that silver ring that we have around the selfie camera. I wish that would have been black because the camera wouldn't be as noticeable. Now if you take pictures with plenty of light I feel that the selfies do turn out um, pretty decent, but if you take selfies at night they don't look that um, amazing in my opinion. And these are some examples of selfies that um, I took. For video recording with a front facing camera you can record in 1080p and you also have IMI stabilization for those um, 1080p recordings. As for the back we have the main camera that's a 108 megapixel sensor, we also have an ultra wide camera and a macro lens. Now for the main camera I feel the device does really really good, it actually does better than the iPhone 12 in a lot of situations during the day and of course during the night. So for nighttime pictures there is um, a night mode available for the main camera, but unfortunately there is no night mode available for the ultra wide lens. I've actually done a camera comparison between this device and the iPhone 12 and I've included about 100 pictures and videos in there, so definitely check out that video if you want to see more um, sample pictures um, and videos. I will leave a link to that in the video's description or the top right corner of this video. 
But to quickly conclude the cameras on the back of this device, for a budget phone, I feel that it does extremely well. For video recording, the maximum recording resolution is 4K at 30 frames per second, but unfortunately at that resolution we don't have IMI stabilization. So if you want to record and have IMI stabilization so your footage is not shaky, you're going to have to lower the resolution to 1080p. And this was a quick example of a 1080p recording that I've done with this device the other day. So the Redmi Note 10 Pro runs MIUI 12 out of the box, which is based on Android 11. And I know some people love MIUI, some people not um, so much, but I feel that MIUI has advanced quite a lot over the past two, three years. So I'm at that point where I actually love all the features that MIUI offers. Just to give you a quick example, if you open the gallery app and um, you edit a picture from your gallery app, there is a cool feature in there where um, it allows you to change the sky in your picture. I know it may sound childish, but the results are quite, um, quite impressive. I mean, I haven't seen any app like that on any other phone, at least not a built-in app um, as it is on this device. And I could go on and on about all the features um, included in MIUI, but if you've used a Xiaomi device in the past, you kind of know um, what I'm talking about. The phone feels extremely fast for pretty much everything that you're gonna do. When you scroll from one screen to the other one, when you're scrolling through your Facebook feed or on Chrome, Twitter, whatever, the phone feels extremely quick. When we switch in between apps, the multitasking works great because we have that six gigs of RAM. So I haven't actually found an app that slows this phone down. That um, Snapdragon 732 that we have inside it plus that six gigs of RAM, definitely helps um, with the smoothness of the device, um, if I may say. So whatever you're gonna do with the phone, it will feel fast. For certain things, it actually feels just as fast as a flagship. I played Call of Duty, for example, for an extended period of time. The phone got warm, but it didn't get as hot as um, the device that um, would have the Snapdragon 888 would get, which is definitely a good thing. And I haven't noticed any skipped frames even when the phone was warmer. I've also checked out the GPS unit inside it and it takes the phone less than half a second to find your location. So of course using any navigation app will work great. The phone even has an NFC chip inside so you can make payments with the phone. That's great because a lot of budget phones don't actually have an NFC chip inside. The phone supports dual band Wi-Fi and we also have a variety of sensors. So nothing that you're actually missing when compared to a flagship. So to quickly conclude this video, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is one of the best, if not the best budget phone that Xiaomi has made so far. It has an outstanding screen, as I said, one of the best screens that I've seen on any budget phone and a lot of um, flagships out there. Gets great battery life, great performance, the cameras on the front and the back are good. This is an amazing budget phone and if you're looking for a phone and you don't want to spend that much money, you should definitely consider um, this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.